Hello boys and girls if any. Today I have received a replay from the early GA tournament when Colorfit played with Sunnyhawk. Uh, the game was played with 15 minutes peacetime, 5k resources and I'm not sure about capture, but I think the capture was enabled, except the peasants. Uh, so let's take a look and see how the game went. They are playing as Denmark and for some reason they decided to play with very similar colors orange for Sanyok and red for color fit still I hope we will be able to distinguish the players and we can see that color fit is rushing for the market while Sanyok is going for two town halls first when there are just two players it's not very important to get the market before or after uh, because the price drops are not that significant. Now Colorfit is going for his uh, second town hall and the blacksmith and relocating the storehouse to this little forest to start to cut some wood. Uh, two barracks placed, three town halls, so let's see what we have for Sanyok. Uh, quite similar situation here, we also have third town hall, but only one barracks. Uh, and immediately two gold mines. Colorfit is also immediately taking two gold mines and an iron mine, but only after the barracks. Let me try to find which numbers. Okay, so Colorfit is three. And uh, Sanyok is five. Yes. Uh, now Sanyok is gathering all of his peasants on the mail, while Colorfit is gathering his peasants... Uh, hard to say. It uh, looks like both mail. Yeah, it's also mail, but there are still some peasants working on the wood cutting. Uh, so now Colorfit is sure and gall to produce uh, some uh, musketeers. But the goal should be coming soon. Now let's enable this fog of war, and we will see what's his color feed. So color feed is scouting around with his musketeers to find out where the mines are, and he's taking the gold mines. Here comes the academy, and the next building will probably be the diplomatic center. Um, when you are playing 15 minutes peacetime, not the 10 minutes peacetime, you have 5 extra minutes for the development. Uh, that's why I'm not sure what will be first, upgrading the gold mines, upgrading the food production, or getting the diplomatic center. So far, Colorfit is upgrading his food production. This has not yet been taken, but maybe it will be taken soon, the field capacity upgrade. Let's... Uh, Enable the fog of war back. Let's see if this is fifth or fourth mine. Okay, so this is fifth mine of uh, Sanyok, but s for some reason he's sending his five peasants back. I'm not sure what has happened here. And he also have uh, five peasants staying here. Maybe this is supposed to go when the mine is upgraded. Probably so. Now he's getting another mine here. I don't know what happened, why he does not finish construction of this mine. He has two musketeers here as well. Now Color Fate is gathering his musketeers closer to the enemy base. So Sanyok has slightly less vision compared to Color Fate. Color Fate sees his entire quadrant. And Color Fate is upgrading the gold mines as I predicted. The diplomatic center is not yet there. And he's upgrading the gold mines. He may also upgrade the wood cutting, but not yet doing that. Let's check what we have for Sanyok. Okay, Sanyok has finished upgrading this mine by putting some extra peasants in. Now he is getting a coal mine. And he is still playing through one, just one beard. That's strange. Like when you're playing 30 minutes peacetime, it's okay to start with just one barrack. But. But. 
when you are playing 15 minutes this time, I believe you need to get uh, the two barracks from the very beginning. Let's see what we have on the color of its side. Color of it is now. Yes, he has now taken the wood cutting upgrade and switching for the wood cutting. This is probably to get the diplomatic center. Meanwhile, he is upgrading the gold mine. That one is the last one. And Colorfit has not yet got any coal mines, but uh, that should be should be fixed soon, I believe. Yes, the peasants are coming, and now uh, Colorfit will have 40 peasants working on the gold. Let's see, Sanyok has 40 peasants working on the gold already, but he's still not getting this mine. Question is why? Maybe because it was a tournament. And maybe because some spectators or the tournament manager told him not to. I don't know, but this is kinda kinda interesting. Like you have one extra gold mine and you are not taking that one. Let's disable the fog of war and let's see if Colorfit has any gold mines close by. Yeah, Colorfit has here a gold mine, could potentially could take that one. Or maybe it was just tournament rules so that you are not allowed to take the mines from the neutral territories. Now Colorfade is getting the rest of the mines, the coal mines and uh, the iron mines and looks like uh, Colorfade is starting to upgrade the coal mines as well. Let's see, so it's just uh, three coal mines. No, not yet, but now yes. This coal mine is upgraded now. This one not yet. And this one also upgraded. And now he has four coal mines. But this mine has just two peasants for some reason. No stable so far. Like 5 minutes 30 seconds of peacetime left. Diplomatic center is ready. And some other mine has been upgraded. Let's uh, let's see which one. It's probably the iron mines. Yes, so this iron mine and this coal mine. So now Colorfit has 30 peasants working on iron, and it should be 30 peasants working uh, on iron. Probably some mine is not fully populated. Yes, this mine is missing a few peasants. One peasant in particular. And let's see, this mine uh, is not pop fully populated yet, and this iron mine also missing a peasant. Point-wise, Colorfit is slightly leading on points, and now Colorfit is starting to get the stables. Three stables at once. Now the harness is upgraded so far, food production completed. Now, Diplomatic Center is producing Runda Shears, that's for sure. Maybe they are playing without capture because uh, Colorfit is not putting any guards and Colorfit is not getting the Siege Cossacks. Of course, Colorfit is going for the Dragoons. Oh, sorry, this is Artillery Depot. It looks very like uh, the stables, so Colorfit is getting two Artillery Depots and a stable. This means that they are playing with the artillery. Not sure if they are playing with capture. Now, how about Sanyok? No, Sanyok still not getting this mine. That was probably the tournament rules or something. Now, Sanyok also has... No, that's not Sanyok. Now we have to switch to Sanyok. Um, Sanyok has made third level upgrade for his gold mine, so he has much more peasants working on gold, but he has just 15 peasants working on iron, and he also has upgraded uh, the coal mines. Let's compare the peasants. 48 and 64. So Sanyok has 12 more. No, not 12, 22. 22 more peasants working uh, on the gold Which is kind of significant, but I'm not sure if that will be Beneficial in the short amount of time to pay off Artillery depot now Sanyok is starting to produce uh, cannons Two artillery depots producing cannons from both of them 
How about Color Feed? Color Feed is also producing cannons from two artillery depots. Uh, and Sanyok is rushing for the Siege Cossacks, so maybe they are still playing with capture. We will see that later. And you can see, because the players are playing with artillery, Sanyok is not making formation. He is actually keeping his uh, units kind of apart. So it will be more difficult for cannons to kill many units with one shot. More and more cannons coming for color feed, but maximum will be 10 cannons because color feed has just two artillery depots. And color feed is actually putting some guards for his mines. This means that they are definitely playing with capture. And Colorfeed has a stables. Let's see if now Colorfeed is taking the first fire rate upgrade. That's nice. How about Sanyok? Sanyok has not yet got to the first fire rate upgrade because he's short on iron. And the iron is being taken by the cannons production. Not really, just taking 300 of iron. They are playing with the cheap artillery, not expensive artillery though. More cannons are coming. And uh, let's the thing get started. Color Fate was trying to rush with his uh, bunch of Rundashirs and the Musketeers. Now here are some Siege Cossacks coming, and not some, but a lot of Siege Cossacks coming. Now Color Fate is starting to suffer some losses from the cannon shots. Now Colorfeed has got his own cannons. The Siege Cossacks are making here some... Uh, something. Something bad, I would say. And... Um, meanwhile, while that happens, I want to check if they have any upgrades for the... For the cannons. No cannon upgrades on Colorfeed side. Uh, and... No cannon upgrades uh, on the Sonyok side, so <coughs> let's keep watching and see what's gonna happen here. Oh, Colorfit is using Dragoons to protect his cannons. That's uh, kind of nice. You see, like how these cannons, so they just kill a lion. Of Kowarfit's from the shears. Nevertheless, Kowarfit just decided to go and brute force because he thought that his forces are much superior. Let's see how this ends. Let's see how this ends. Here come the cannons, the musketeers. So far, Kowarfit is doing well here. Let's take another another pause and take a look. So Colorfit has got two fire rates and no firepower upgrades. While Sanyok, while Sanyok, Sanyok also has got two fire rate upgrades and two firepower upgrades, but I believe that was slightly later. Yeah, so Sanyok has just taken the firepower and fire rate upgrades, which could be could be a little too late when he has no more has no more musketeers left and for sure they do not have the building's strength upgrade now it's more like a cannon's duel of course Sanyok will try to to attack back with his uh, siege cossacks and capture some color his cannons but Colorfit is sending backup over here. Sanyok is sending peasants. Losing the peasants, losing the siege Cossacks. But still trying to capture those cannons. Not working so far. Whoa, Colorfit has also taken the peasants. <laughs> and the peasants are killing each other. Moving, moving. Now Sanyok is retreating. while the cannons are shooting. A few more musketeers has died here from the cannon shots. Now much more died from the color fit side. 
Oh, Sanyok is rushing to get three more stables. Which uh, might not save him because it looks like a GG for me. Now Goarfid has started to slowly destroy the enemy base. One town hall ready, another town hall should be there soon. And Sanyak is desperately trying to defend his base. Meanwhile, Colorfeet has stopped sending back up, and I think Colorfeet will be preparing for another attack. Yes, Colorfeet has destroyed his cannons. Uh, this means Colorfeet has admitted that uh, this attack will not be the final attack. And there will be another one. So, what we can see here, market has been destroyed, and a town hall has been destroyed. A few mines has been destroyed, that's it. And of course, entire army has been demolished. But Sanyok has got one extra gold mine up here. How many gold mines he has? He has five gold mines, but one is not populated, so this one is not extra. Meanwhile, Colorfit has advanced to the 18th century and starting to produce his famous annoying Kusars from three stables so far. No harnesses upgrade yet. So there definitely will be another fight between these two players. Let's let's see if Sanyok is in 18th century yet. Yes, Sanyok is in 18th century as well, but he still keep producing the 17th century dragoons, probably just because they are faster to produce. 15 seconds, 15 game seconds to 22.5 game seconds. Meanwhile, Colorfit is also getting more cannons because he had to destroy his cannons. And Colorfit has restored to the mine locations upgrade, and now Colorfit will be able to spot Sanyok's mines and slowly cut them. Now the Hussars, let's take a pause and take a look if Colorfit has any Hussars upgrades. No Hussars upgrades so far, so that's what Colorfit is currently doing. He is rushing for some Hussars upgrades, and not this upgrade, yes, uh, not ready. Uh, that's why over here Colorfit is gathering his Hussars up together and not trying to fight the Siege Cossacks, but I think it's not that many Siege Cossacks and they could fight. Still, you can see how many Hussars has died to this mine blow. Now Hussars are slowly gathering up and going to capture another mine. Yes, the tactic is simple. You cut the resources, you win the battle. Now, what Sanyak is doing? Sanyaku is going up north with his cannons, question is why? Maybe he thinks uh, that Colorfit will be attacking from there, and Sanyok does not yet have the balloon. Let's see if Colorfit has... Yes, Colorfit has the balloon, and Colorfit is suffering from the shortage of the dwellings. While Sanyok lacks a balloon, Colorfit is shooting him with the cannons. Still, Sanyok is able to answer with the cannons, and technically Sanyok could capture these cannons with his Siege Cossacks. But the Siege Cossacks are running somewhere else. Now Colorfit could try to capture the cannons with his Hussars. No, it was too close. Now they have the cannons duel, and cannons are shooting the Hussars. Wow, that was a very nice shot. Another fight happening here. Colorfit is sending his Hussars to the back, to the rear side of the enemy army, while Sanyok is sending Siege Cossacks to the lines of Colorfit. Colorfit has lost almost all of his Hussars. Here are Hussars of Sanyok. 
Yeah, Sonyuk is also producing some Pussars. That's an intense battle. Well, let's see, like, uh, Sanyang has a lot of cannons here, hiding. Let's see how many cannons are here. 11, or... How many cannons is here? I don't see it. Is it 11 cannons, or... Yeah, it's 11 cannons. This means Sanyang has got another artillery depot. Ok just captured a cannon from Kovac Fleet. Nevertheless, Colorfit is doing well here and pushing through the enemy lines with his musketeers, Rondashirs and the priests and the cannons, trying to capture the more of the enemy cannons. But Sonyok is defending himself with the uh, swords and shooting with the cannons. And you could see just now Colorfit was trying to capture enemy artillery with the Hussars, then Sanyo crashed with his Hussars to save, and Colorfit did not accept the fight, instead he just pulled back with his Hussars, and the enemy Hussars were shot by the Musketeers, and then Colorfit rushed back in with the Hussars, so it was a nice tactical move. A town hall has been destroyed again. I think this mine will die as well. Actually, I'm a bit surprised that Colorfit was not able to finish Sanyok in the first attack, but uh, Sanyok is a very good player and he was able to defend himself. Now Colorfit for some reason is not shooting at the buildings, instead shooting the army. I think it would be more useful to kill the enemy, uh, destroy the enemy buildings, and then just destroy the cannons and launch another attack. Okay, nice. Cathedral destroyed, uh, a stable has been destroyed. Now Sanyok is sending the. I think Sanyok surrenders. Yeah, I think that's it. Sanyok surrenders. Well done by Colorfeed, but before I quit, let's uh, take a look at the statistics and see how it went. So Sanyok has got this shovel upgrade, raise builder salary to increase the construction speed. Sanyok was a bit too late to the 18th century, not that late though. Then he has got the Hairnesses upgrade much faster than Colorfeed and started to produce the Hussars, but they didn't save him. Colorfit has all. Oh no, that's Sanyok. New sighting devices for artillery to increase the artillery accuracy. That's nice, but he did not get the balloon, while Colorfit has got the balloon and has got a few uh, firepower upgrades. Now let's uh, go to the units. Food 1 million. To just uh, 400,000. Wood is slightly better for Sanyok. And Sanyok has got more gold because he upgraded the gold mines. But Colorfi has got more iron. The coal is equal because they all upgraded for gold mines. And here you can see all the statistics for yourself if you are interested. So what we can say, in the 15 minutes uh, peacetime games you have to build two barracks from the very beginning. Okay guys, I think uh, it was a very nice game and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time and maybe we will have a stream later today or maybe tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye bye.